There you there go. There it goes. <laughs> let's let's grab it. All right. Um, so this is Jean Nathan. It's Crosstown Conversations, and um, we today are talking about the importance of Freedom Summer. Um, the importance and the definition of, of freedom, which I think a lot of people have a narrower view of it than uh, some of us, and I, we're, we're trying to broaden that, that uh, image. So very quickly, if you all would introduce yourself, and then we're going to go on from there. Cheryl. Okay, I'm Cheryl Sutton, and I'm curator of Art on Purpose. I'm also uh, working with Cravas 22 and the Creative Alliance of New Orleans. We are producing a Freedom Summer uh, commemoration. It is the 60th anniversary of Freedom Summer, an important time in our voting rights history. 2024 is an important year, not only for that, but because it's an election year and we are really wanting to uplift the work that's being done to protect our voting rights and our freedoms. Um, and so this event brings people together to enjoy the arts and also have time to work together and uh, be a part of something that makes us, uh, us, makes us free. Date, time and place. Sunday, um, 12 to 5, after, uh, 122 Sarah Lane at a place called Crevasse 22, which has to do with St. Bernard declaring its freedom from breaks in the levee caused by other people. So, or, <laughs> or just the, the force of the river itself. But let me go on, uh, uh, Dee Mer Meredith. Uh, my name is Deidre Meredith. Uh, my friends in the industry have bought, you know, pegged me as a multimedia activist. I am a musician, director, producer, performer, and uh, right now I am working on uh, several projects and it's under an umbrella called the New Orleans Legacy Project that includes a three-part docuseries, as well as a photo book of our history and a contextualized uh, nature with a photojournalist, Peter G. Forrest, along with some other young people who are working on children's book to tell our history because our history is under attack. And so the best way that we can actually ensure that our history stays intact is to take control of the narrative. And so we've done so and we're collaborating in all ways uh, to Together by creating also events that actually uh, collaborate to, to film the actual events and the actual movement that we have created. So we are organizing, strategizing, and mobilizing. And, 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 and just a real uh, attention to the opportunities of multimedia, which so many people now are grabbing onto, but you have to be like a lot of brain power to do all of that in those different media. So thank you, Deidre, for your capacity in that way. Jerrica. <laughs> Hi, Jean, and, and hi, everyone. I'm Jerrica Richardson, the Senior Vice President for Equitable Justice and Strategic Initiatives at the National Urban League, one of the nation's oldest and largest civil rights organizations. We're actually going to be in New Orleans for our national conference this year, and we are so excited to be kicking it off on Wednesday, July 24th with our Reclaim Your Vote rally, which will be hosted at Xavier University in New Orleans. We're so excited to be talking about voter registration, voter engagement, and uh, voter activation. Um, it's going to be an exciting day. We hope you'll be able to join us. It starts at 4 p.m. Uh, and then we'll have a lot of wonderful panel discussions, events, training sessions, uh, a community day throughout the week, uh, starting from the 24th through the 27th at uh, the Hyatt Regency Hotel in New Orleans. Thank you so much. That was um, a great introduction to what true activists do to make change happen. And uh, I'm very uh, pleased to have you on the show, uh, which is gonna air this Friday at noon on WBOK. So be listening, everybody. So guys, what that's perfect for, what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna use that as a promo that's gonna go into my newsletter. That's gonna go out to about 15,000 people. And um, we, we build our audience through that. So this was not a loss. This actually was a great little moment that uh, we can use uh, to interject it into the newsletter and, and meet uh, even more people. So I hope that I didn't need that part on there. My guy will edit it out but so I don't know about. Yeah, I'm not too happy with, with what I said. It didn't yeah, make sense. <laughs> right. 
But yeah, no, I still want you to be on later. So, but uh, that was um, that was a perfect little promo for all of what you're doing, um, everybody. Okay, I'm going to end Great. this, and I'll be so I'll put we'll see you at place. twelve thirty central. Twelve thirty. Okay. Okay. Thank now, you. Sorry, guys. Okay, so twelve thirty. We'll see you back one on. One of the other interviews that uh, that I I lost like this was one of the best ever, and I, so it it seems like when you get the really good ones, that's when it happens. Yeah. No worries. We'll see you then. Okay. We'll see you at twelve thirty central time. You okay. want to send us? Do you have the same link? Are we using the same link? I'm gonna make a new one. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. Thank you. And we'll see you at twelve thirty. Right. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye, Thank you very much. I'm so sorry. It's okay.